So hello again, we have Karen De Battista, another newcomer in this year's Maltese selection. Karen De Battista, who also won a popular local festival this year, La Nieta al Popolo, is very popular here in Malta. And of course, she also fame from, 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 from that festival. Um, how are you finding now switching from a local festival to a selection which will can take you to the Eurovision Song Contest eventually? It's a, it's a different experience. It's from a local festival, from a small local festival. I'm going something as big as as the Eurosong. So it takes some getting used to because um, the the feel is, is is quite different. So I need to get used to it. But I'm happy. I'm happy with what we've we've gotten now. So. You're not alone on stage. No. You have some also musical players. The song also resembles some. Maltese exactly. tune. Mm -hmm. um, do you think this can help you to stand out from the rest? Uh, yes, definitely. I don't think there's a song in the in the festival that's similar in style to to my song. So, I, and even the, the the touch of of Maltese Maltese music, the Maltese feel is is quite important, especially to the Maltese people, because uh, it's not something that we hear very often in Eurovision. So, I think I think it's important. So it, it will be effective. I hope so, at least. Yeah. Can you tell us about 12th Baker Street? What is the main theme, the lyrics, what are all about this song? So, the song is a, is a, a love story. It's about a boy and a girl growing up together on 12th Baker Street. Um, they grew up together. Unfortunately, person, one person has to, to, to leave the place. And if it's faked, they will meet again on 12 Baker Street. So we chose 12 Baker Street as a as a location. As a location. Okay. So. How was your first rehearsal? It was your first one on that massive stage. Yes. It hosted the Junior Eurovision Song Contest three days ago. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel going on that stage, the first rehearsal? The stage, the stage is unbelievable. Uh, I've never performed on, on such a stage before, and I'm, I'm quite happy with, with how it is. I mean, it's reached my expectations. My first rehearsal was okay. Um, uh, it took some getting used to, as I said before, because it's, it's totally different to what I had experienced before. But uh, it's okay. I know where I have to improve and where I have to change certain things, so hopefully the next rehearsal will be better. And what was the feedback so far since the song got re released? And, and published by PBS so far. I, I, I've heard some positive actually news yes, about yes. it. What was your, your what was the feedback you received? As you said, it was quite positive and um, you all mentioned as, as I said earlier that the, the Maltese feel in it. So so that's something that that uh, the people the people like and I appreciate that because that's what that's what we were working for. So um, yes, the comments have been all quite positive in general. I don't think I've had any negative comments. I'm, okay. which, which For a newcomer, I mean. Yes, yeah. yes, it, it's Some very good. It gives good me it, Exactly, exactly. So, can you sing a part of your song, 12 Baker Street? You're singing number... Number 7. Number 7. Lucky number 7. Is it your lucky number? Um, no, my lucky number is 8, actually. So, Ooh. I'm just <laughs> one point. BBS, next time, number 8. 8, 8. <laughs> I remember the day we to play, nothing to say, still we found our way, and then we grew, felt something new, I fell for you, oh, our love was true. So, good luck. Thank you very May much. May we not see you on 12th Baker Street, but in Vienna. Vienna, hopefully. Let's see. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you.